come back, but your lines or more lines, that's an interesting, interesting process. It's an interesting business. Yes. <laughs> uh, getting involved in the process. What's Pardon me? The, your station is about yes. getting involved in the process. Um, this isn't a public hearing. This no, is it is just, not. This is an informational meeting. Informational this meeting. This is the second of four. Second of four that are... Right. The first one, when we proposed the project, if you look at the center map here, the only thing we had on there was the big white area. And in fact, later on, we expanded that even further north. Based so that's, on, that's the basic corridor, and it's going to go somewhere... Somewhere either. between the La Crosse area and Madison. So getting involved in the process, that would include hearings. Oh, absolutely. And when are the hearings? Best estimate right now, I would say, is probably late 2013, maybe early 2014. Well, we won't but even, wouldn't we you want be, the hearings first and then? No. The way the process works is we go through all the work of identifying, right now we're at the stage of potential corridors where the line might go. We'll winnow that down for the next open house to, for lack of a better term, higher probability quarters. I mean, far, far fewer lines on that map. By the fourth open house, we will have picked a proposed and an alternate route. Once we've got that, we'll prepare an application to the State Public Service Commission to build the project. We'll have all the detail in it that we've developed, all the information that we've gathered, like your iPad. Get an iPad too, I see. I just, yeah, very. I just got mine about three weeks ago. Great GPS love on it. it, yeah. Yeah, I love it. We can talk about that some other time. So that would get us to this stage here. We file our application. Then the commission will look at our application, which I guarantee you will probably be about that thick, and decide if we've provided enough information for them to do a review. If we haven't, they'll tell us to provide more. Eventually, as we iterate through that process, and you're more than welcome to have that, uh, we will get to the point where they have deemed our application complete. That starts a 180-day review clock. But they can go back to the courts and ask for a second 180 days. I guarantee you that'll happen in this project. So they'll have 360 Why? days Why is there because a the volume of work that they've got to do to review our application, along with the DNR, is just too much to get done in but six months. Wouldn't you want to have a hearing first to see if you even want to do this instead no, that's, of that's one instead thing. of having local wind generation because they've just blocked that in Wisconsin. They wouldn't, they, wouldn't blocked, they blocked these proposed. Uh, law for setbacks, right? Which which eliminates most of the projects. It, I have seen a couple developers pull out because of that. Yes. Right. Well, don't we want to uh, do that first? Well, you can't before have deciding if you want to need this thing in the first place or something. No, because this is not looking at just in-state facilities, but wind power coming in from the west. But all these towers and stuff seems like you could build a lot of windmills for the same amount of steel and stuff. Interestingly enough, and our planning folks can talk about this in greater detail, our analysis shows that building wind out here will take fewer wind generators than building wind here, even when you take into account the cost of building the transmission line in because between. Because there's more wind out west. It's more, and it's better wind. More steady in one direction. Steady, it's higher velocity. Right. You can get, for the same amount of, of capacity that you would generate, you need fewer out there than if you tried to build them here. Plus, it seems to be a little more favorable climate. That's almost... Oh, it means political climate. Political climate. And landowner climate. A lot of people talk about farming the wind. How about uh, solar? Solar hasn't matured enough yet. Solar because will if always you had, be in the mix. Because if you had solar on everybody's roof, you wouldn't need the transmission line. It hasn't happened yet. Well, shouldn't, we, shouldn't we be working toward that, having solar on every roof in the country? rather than building the big power lines? Another political decision up to our legislatures. And this company is not involved in political decisions? We are They're involved in building the electric transmission lines from one point to another. We just move the power. We don't decide where it's generated. But wouldn't you want to have the most efficient system possible, which is locally generated? And because but there's a lot of But our need to loss? build lines is based on the companies that we serve telling us what they're going to need us to put in, what they project their demand is going to be, how they meet that demand, be it with wind generation here, out west, salt, any kind of renewable, fossil generation, whatever, whatever they put in, it's our obligation to serve it. So we're more, what, what, what? we respond more than we influence. 
thank you very much. Yeah. This is the place where you put in comments? Yep, you can do it electronically that's here. where you say welcome to the neighborhood. Or you can um, fill out the comment form that's in your folder and mail it in to us. And there's something online to do it? Sorry? There's something online to comment also? or? Um, you can comment online, yes. Right. Thank you.